Hello everyone. Let's study about dielectric polarization. It is defined as a dipole moment per unit volume of the dielectric. That is, we call capital P as dielectric polarization. This is given as the net dipole moment per unit volume. To understand this, let's consider example of a dielectric slab. Something of this kind. We saw in the previous discussion that in this case, if we apply an external field, then the dipoles would be polarized. Suppose if this is the applied field, then we saw that in case of a polar molecule, we get the dipoles are aligned in the same direction. So we get a condition like this where this end of it one end of the slab would contain more of negative charge if you keep drawing it this end contains more of negative charge and this contains more of positive charge and this creates its own field which is called as inbuilt field now here in case of a polar molecule we saw that each molecule will have its own dipole moment but net dipole moment would be such that they add up to zero so when we apply an external electric field these would be realigned such that one side of the slab would contain more of negative charge and this side contains more of positive charge so it has now a, a permanent dipole for each molecule so that the net dipole moment by the volume of the slab that is called as polarization of the material now this polarization depends on the electric field if, if the field is greater we will have a greater polarization now we bring in a constant here called as chi so this constant is called chi e so this is called as chi and this chi stands for it's called as electrical susceptibility called as electrical susceptibility again this is a common english word it means susceptible which means how much it is prone to be polarized so from here we can say chi that is susceptibility is equal to p by e so this is what is about dielectric polarization